everyone, welcome back to Dezola Designs. And today we are going to be working on a cute little uh, dishcloth. It's called Lots of Love Crochet Dishcloth. And this is a heart-shaped dishcloth, just in time for Valentine's Day or to give to someone that you love. So, let's get started. You are going to need a five millimeter hook and you're also going to need um, a cotton yarn. Definitely when you make kitchen products, you always want to use a cotton yarn. Today I'm using Lily's Sugar and Cream Cotton, my favorite. And I, this color is hot pink. Okay, so let's get started. Go ahead and grab your five millimeter hook and let's make a slip knot. Okay. So, the first thing that we're going to do is pull that tight, and then we're going to chain two. One and two. And then we're going to do our first row. We're going to put two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. Okay? So the second chain is right here. So you want to put two single crochets in this one right here. So there's one single crochet and there's two single crochets. Okay? So two single crochets in the same space and then you want to turn that. Okay, so now the back side is facing. So we're going to chain one right there and then we're going to put two single crochets in the first single crochet so how you can see where your crochets are when you're doing small little areas like this is you turn it and you look at the V's so here's your first crochet and here's your second crochet so in the first crochet you want to put two single crochets right in here okay so that is one and two, okay? And then in your next stitch, you wanna put two single crochets in there as well. So that is one and Okay, so that is our second row. Now we're going to move on to our third row. You want to chain one, turn over. Okay, so then we're going to put two single crochets in the first single crochet, and then again it's easier to turn it so you see the edge. So here's your first single crochet. You want to put two single crochets in there. So that is one and two. And then in your next stitch, you want to put one single crochet. Actually, you want to put one single crochet in each stitch to the last one. So we're going to single crochet in the next one. And then we're going to single crochet in the next one. like that and then we have one left right here and we're going to put two single crochets in that one so that is you got to make them loose don't make them tight like me so that's one and two so then we're going to chain one so then we're going to put two single crochets in the first single crochet so this is our chain one which doesn't count so this is our first single crochet right here, okay? So we're going to put two single crochets in there. One and two, okay? And then you're going to single crochet till you get to the last one. So you wanna put two single crochets in the last stitch. So two single crochets in the first stitch 
two single crochets in the last stitch and one single crochet in each stitch in the middle. Okay, and we'll do this a couple times, so don't worry. So we just put our two single crochets in the first single crochet, so then you just go single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet, and then we, we're up on the last stitch. So you want to put two single crochets in that stitch and again make them loose. It's much easier to work with. Okay? You see? So then we're going to chain one, turn, we're going to skip the chain one right here. We're going to go into the first single crochet and put two single crochets in the same stitch. That's one and two. And then you want to put one single crochet in each stitch, okay, in the middle. So that is one two, three, four, five, and six, okay, and then we're in the last stitch, you see that? You're going to put two single crochets in there, okay? So that is one and two and then chain one and then go ahead and just repeat that pattern. So you do your chain one and then you do two single crochets in the first single crochet, one and two and then you single crochet out across the top. So you get to the last stitch and you put two single crochets in the last stitch. Okay? So everyone do that for 14 rows. And these should be pretty easy, rows easy to count. But you do that for 14 rows and I will meet you when I am done. Okay everyone, you can see the bottom of the heart is taking shape. Now we're going to start on row 15. So this is actually going to be row 15 to 24, okay? The rows that we will be working on. I suggest grabbing a chain marker. I just like using um, bits of yarn that I have left over. I have a whole bowl right here that I have just for this occasion. But you can also use chain markers like this that's totally fine. Um, this is just to mark the end. We are going to work on rows 15 to 24, so you can just count, that's, what is that, nine rows, okay? And I'll show you how to mark it. All you're going to do is put your hook through. We're going to, I've already chained one, let me take this one out, okay? So we're going to chain one, and this is my back side, so I'm gonna turn it over. So all you're going to do is put one single crochet in each stitch, okay? So after your chain one, you just put one single crochet like so. So I'm gonna have Three single crochets right here. But I'm going to stop there and I'm going to insert my hook into the first single crochet that I did. Okay, and I'm going to get my marker, put the yarn on the hook, and then I'm going to just lock it on there like that. 
So that tells me that this is where I am starting, okay? So from this point, I need nine more rows on top of that, okay? So however long, and then again, all you're going to do is just put one single crochet in each stitch across. And then you're going to chain one, turn, one stitch in each across, chain one, turn, and one stitch in each across. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So I just finished my 24th row, and you should have 24 stitches across. So for our next row, this is the back, okay? So for our next row, we're going to make the humps of the heart. So you should have, again, 24 stitches. I marked the 12th stitch. Okay, I went through this a little bit earlier and I got confused like I usually do. So if you get confused like me, go ahead and mark the 12th stitch and it would, it's going to help you out tremendously. Okay, so just count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And go ahead and mark that. So this is the back side. This is the front side, okay? So we're going to start now. So are you going to do now? We are going to start the 25th row, which is the first row of the hump. So we're going to chain one, turn it over, and then we're going to single crochet two together. What does that mean? I will show you. You insert your hook, you yarn over, pull through, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then you pull through all three loops. Okay, so that is one chain, and then you're just going to single crochet to your chain marker. Okay, so I will meet you there. Okay everyone, so coming up on your stitch marker and all you do is put one single crochet in there. Okay, so we just finished row 25. Okay, so for our the next row, again we're going to leave these stitches unworked right here because that's the second hump. So what we're going to do now is chain one and then we're going to turn and then all you're going to do is put one single crochet in each stitch and then until you get to the last two. Okay, so you want to stop, put one single crochet in each sit, stitch and then you will stop uh, two before the end. Okay, so you stop right here. And once we got that in, I will meet you at the end. Okay everyone, we're on the 26th row and I got to the end and there's two stitches left. So all we're going to do is single crochet, single crochet two together, okay? Single crochet two together is, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, so you should have three loops on the hook, and then you yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, now we're going to start the 27th row. You chain one, turn, and now we are going to start with a single crochet two together. Okay. So that is, again, so we just did our chain one right there. So we insert it into this stitch right here. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. Okay. And again, you want to single crochet across till you get to the last two stitches, okay? And I will meet you 
right here at the end. Okay, everyone, we're on row 27. And as you can see, I have two stitches left. And what are we going to do? We're going to do a single crochet two together. So again, you insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, okay? Insert the hook, yarn over. So you should have three loops on the hook. And then you yarn over and pull through all three. And there you go. Now we're going to go on to row 28. Again, you chain one, turn, okay? So we are going to, again, single crochet two together. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through. Three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Then we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch till we reach uh, two before. So you want to leave your last two stitches empty and I will meet you then. Okay everyone, so we're on row 28 and we have our last two stitches right here. And then what are we going to do? We're going to single crochet two together. At the end of this you'll be a pro. <laughs> so then all you do, insert your hook yarn over, pull through, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, three loops, pull through all three. Okay? And then we're going to go on to the next row, which is row 29. We're going to chain one, turn. What do you think we're going to do? We're going to single crochet two together. Okay, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you yarn over and pull through all three. And then we'll just do this together. We're gonna single, one single crochet, two single crochets. So we have two stitches left. And then we're going to single crochet two together again. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay? So we're going to chain one, turn. And then this is our final row. This is row 30. So again, we're going to start with a single crochet two together. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. And then we have two stitches left. So we're going to do the same thing. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so that's one side of our heart. So we are going to fasten that side off because we are done. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, everyone, we have our first hump of the heart right there. So now we're going to work on this side and all you do is I put this upside down right here. So this is where we ended and actually you can remove this because we won't need this anymore. So take out your marker. So all we're going to do is work in the next stitch right here. Okay. So you insert again this is the front side this is the back side. Okay, this is the side that we just did right here. Okay, so all you're going to do is in this first stitch right here next to the lump that we just did, you're going to insert your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then you're going to get your 
yarn the side that is still attached and you're just going to lock that on there okay like so now in the same stitch we're going to put one single crochet like so okay and then we're going to single crochet till I don't what is the wording here put one single crochet in each stitch till you have three two left three left okay you know what I mean I'll meet you back here okay everyone so I have my last two stitches here and what are we gonna do we're going to put a single crochet what is that single crochet two together <laughs> sorry so here we go insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop okay insert your hook and this should be the last stitch you yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three okay so then we are going to start the second row and then we're going to chain one boop, turn and then we're going to single crochet two together again right in here insert your hook yarn over next stitch insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop should have three loops yarn over pull through all three okay so then you just want to put one single crochet in each to the end of the row and I'll meet you there okay everyone so this is our second row of the second hunt and I just put one single crochet in each stitch to the end okay so now we're going to start our third row and again you're going to chain one turn your work over so now at the beginning of this one we're going to single crochet two together okay so again you have the chain one that you just did so we're going to be working in this next chain right here okay so all you do is insert your hook yarn over pull through insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through and then you yarn over and pull through all three and then what do we do we put a chain in one single crochet in each chain until you get to two before the end and I will meet you there okay everyone so we are on the third row and I have two stitches here at the end and we're going to single crochet those together so you insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop you have three loops on the hook you yarn over and pull through all three okay we're almost done so now we're on the fourth row chain one turn it over okay that's super cute so then what are we gonna do we're going to we just did our chain one so now we're going to single crochet two together so again insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop three loops pull through all three okay and then single crochet in each stitch till two you get to that right there okay so that's one we'll just do it together two three four and we have two left two stitches left so then we're going to single crochet those single crochet two together insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop 
yarn over and pull through all three. You guys should be pro with this, okay? So now we're going to do our fifth row. Chain one, turn over, single crochet two together, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, and then we're going to do one single crochet, two single crochets, okay, so we have two stitches left, single crochet two together, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, we're on our last row. Chain one, turn over. Yay, <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Single crochet two together. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. That's one. One more. Insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. And guess what? It's time to fasten off. And here is your cute heart. It looks kind of pointing on the edges, don't worry about that. So go ahead and tuck in. Let me zoom out to look at how cute this looks. Super cute. It looks kind of pony, pointy, but it'll round out. So what you want to do is tuck in all your loose ends. Remember, this is the front of your work. So this one strand will probably be facing the front. So all you do is get your hook, insert the hook through there. You yarn over and you just pull that through like that. So now it's on the back. So now you get your yarn needle and you just finish the edges. Just put the yarn through. And since these are going to be dishcloths, I would definitely go back and forth three times. So you just go underneath these back loops one, that way, okay, and then you go through this way, like so, see, and then you go through one more, just so it's locked in there and it will not come out. And they really don't. It really is locked in there. Okay. So then you cut that like that. And just do that with the rest of the loose strands. And I will meet you back and then we're going to work on the edging. Hi everyone, welcome back. So I tucked in all of my loose ends and as you can see, this is super cute. This is the back. This is the front. But it definitely needs um, an edging. It'll just make it look more clean. So grab a color. If you want to, you can use the same color. I am using red. Of course, you can also use white. You can use pink. I mean, whatever color you want to use. Um, just make sure if you can 
it's a contrasting color because I just think it looks cute. If you want to use the same color, of course, by all means, go for it. It's your project. But I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see more clearly. Um, I'm going to start right here on this hump, the top of this hump, just so you guys can see what I do in the valley here. Okay? So, again, this is the front. This is the back. You want to start, go in from the front. Okay? So I'm just going to start right here. You can start wherever you want to along the edge, but I'm just going to start right here. Okay, so you take your color. Oh, let me get this. Put the yarn on the hook. Pull through. And then you're just going to do chain one to lock that on there. Like so. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just put one single crochet in each stitch. And I know the edging is kind of pokey so just do your best to find the next stitch um, sometimes it's not defined so you are literally creating your own but just so long as it looks nice it's totally fine so I'm gonna put one right here and now we're in I would say the valley of the heart so if you separate the two humps a little bit, you can see there's two stitches right here. So there's one and there's two. You see that? So all you're going to do is put one single crochet in each of them. Okay. So there's one and then there's two. Sorry, that's my dog. He's making his little noises. Do you see that what I just did? I just put two single crochets at the bottom, one in each stitch, and now I'm going to work my way up right here. And boy, this is really like ill defined is a good word. <laughs> as to where the stitches are so I'm just literally trying to find the next one but whatever as long as it looks okay so let me show you what this looks like so you see it's got that nice little V there and the edging is going to make it look nice so go ahead and just go all around one single crochet in each stitch and just make it look nice. And um, I'll actually meet you down here and I'll show you what to do with the little point right here. Okay? Okay, everyone. So I'm coming up on the bottom point of the heart, which is right here. So all I'm going to do in there is put two single crochets. So put two single crochets in the same space. So that is one. And then one more in the same space, like so. And then you just continue on up. Continue single crocheting to where you started. And I will meet you back where I started. Okay, everyone, so as you can see, coming up on the end here, and I just have my last few single crochets here, and then I'm going to do one more right in here. So then, all you do when you come to your first uh, stitch right here is you slip stitch to the top of your first single crochet like so and guess what you're done so let me zoom out so you can see all of this heart cuteness right here oh my god that is so cute <gasps> 
The contrast stitching really adds, and you definitely need to add the border, um, the single crochet border. It looks super cute. Let me show you really quick how to do this right here. Okay, so I feel like I'm just leaving you hanging here. Let me zoom back in a little bit. So all you want to do is take your yarn needle, okay, and you fold the yarn in half, thread it through the eye like so. So what you want to do is you want to follow, so this one is the loose end, right? So you want to make another chain by itself. Does that make sense? So you just want to come around and go through this V right here, pull through. Okay, so this is your front, and then you want to go around the back, like so. Okay, so it doesn't look like a loose end. And then all you want to do is tuck your strand in the back through here, and you are all set. And how you do that, since this is red, you just go through right here, and make sure you're not going through the front. So you want to go through back and forth three times. So that's the first time. And then there's two. I really thank you guys for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really, 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 really helps me out. And there is three. And why do you go back and forth three times? To lock the yarn in, okay? Since this is going to be a little dishcloth or washcloth, um, it will get thrown in the wash. I'm sure it's made of cotton. So you want it to tuck in like that. And let me zoom out again. And here's our cute heart. Very, very cute. Again, thank you everyone so much for watching my videos. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. And again, if you like my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.